Previously on Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. And now obviously the most logical thing to do is to light her on fire! Ah, burn! Burn! Ah, and now back to being dead. Hello! This is Nico B, back with some more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. When we last left off, uh, I beat the shit out of this poor little defenseless, <laughs> poor little defenseless rat. I feel, still feel horrible about it. it. Gave me nightmares. Uh, and also, I, uh, what else did I do? Oh, we discovered that, uh, there's this other person out there who can control living things, which is kind of fucking terrifying, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I wish I had that freaking power instead of the, instead of inanimate objects. Um. So, and I think he, I, I'm guessing he must be like the bad guy of this game or something, you know, like, the, probably the whole, all, everything's fucking started because of him or her. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with, out of 14, one, at 1.28 a.m. <laughs> Remember what you guys said, that, like, t the time this game moves, like, the time in Dragon Ball Z were like five, five minutes is like eight, <laughs> five minutes is like, th is like ten episodes. <laughs> This is park. The site of the little lady Camilla's abduction tonight. In the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box was hidden. <laughs> what the hell was? <laughs> I, you know, I'm so sad after the, my chicken. Oh wait, no, his chicken restaurant didn't collapse. I forgot. <laughs> so I am just out in the swing and I'm in the swing and dreaming about chicken. <laughs> is he so weird? He's his little chef outfit swinging on the chicken. Swing it, swing it on the swing set. I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead, but what did she find? Yeah, I was expecting to come here and be like, another dead fucking body. <laughs> oh, I didn't get my chicken this time. I can scroll to the right here, maybe. Oh, I see. I'm in like a different area, apparently. <laughs> huh? What's he doing here? What are you doing here? La la la, let me spend the moments of time with you, my love. In the world when I not end, and the food delivery is a little late. La 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 la. Who's... A little late, it's already ice cold. Who's he talking to? Are you talking to the basketball? What are you doing? <laughs> well, fortunately, someone's there to swing that swing set so I can get over there. Huh. And he's wearing a hat. <laughs> How very convenient. Uh, there's no way I can. Oh, I. Can, oh, I can swing harder. <laughs> la, 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 holy shit, dude! <laughs> What's happening? What did I do to? This? What did I do to deserve this? What love letter? Ooh, what's that? I want to rustle this. Oh, what, what did that do? Didn't accomplish anything? Oh, oh man, get the get down there from the umbrella. Yeah, here we go. Hey! 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 Damn it. Um. <laughs> Boot. Okay, so spin. Oh, spin this thing. Maybe it'll. Yeah, there we go. God dang it, you called me. How do you not. Why are you not standing by the phone? Why do you have to make me fucking come to you, Lynn? Why do you make it so difficult? Ah, oh, there we go. Hello. Oh, there you are, Sissel. What are your, from your jaded expression, I gather, you didn't find what you were looking for. Right, I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead, something horrible. <laughs> A dead body. Horrible, what is it? It is a dead body. There, in the grass. You better see for yourself. Oh! Dude, isn't that big... I think I recognize the hair there. Was it, the, it was that poofy hair guy, the weird hippie dude. Looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. <laughs> you better... No, you better fucking not. <laughs> I suppose now we've found it, we can't just leave you there, can we? And so, seriously, how many times have you died? All right, we've come, and we've come across like 30 dead bodies this whole game. Should you be used to it by now? <laughs> Nope, I suppose not. All right, let's go talk to him. Hello, my hippie friend. What? Oh, he already knows who he is? Or he, she? Is it he or she? I don't even know. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the, the rock of the gods. 
You there. You're talking to me, aren't you? Fuck. <laughs> I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in. I urge you to peruse it thoroughly. Examine it in detail. Examine it now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name, my name. I am Poofy Haired Man. What does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. Whoa, dude, don't roll that way. Come, behold! <laughs> Pulls his pants down. The Rock! The Rock of the Gods, behold! Ah! <laughs> Put that thing away. <laughs> the night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching, but we are young. Uh, look, I don't have a time to get involved in your way of life, you crazy hippie. But I am interested in your way of death. <laughs> so let's go back to four minutes for your death. I'm not gonna bring you along though. Well, that's too bad because I'm coming anyway. Damn it! <laughs> take my leaflet. I don't want your leaflet. Well, take my rock god. No, I don't want your rock god either. <laughs> this is my nature dance. Behold! <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> bugga, bugga, bugga. <laughs> Look at me over here. I'm dancing in front of you. Take my leaflet. Take it! Take it! <laughs> And so I made up my mind to resolve to live here in this park and defend it. <laughs> okay, what does that have to do with this rock of the of God's ear mentioned? Oh, that's in my pants. Would you like me to show it to you? No! Damn it! You still don't appear to understand. Aha! It's written quite clearly in our fourth leaf in a great detail. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. I gotta go, I gotta go shit out all my horrible... <laughs> all of that horrible, disgusting shit you've been giving me. Ugh. God damn it. They don't pay me enough for this horse. I'll be out here dancing for you until you come back. <coughs> oh, Camilla. What? what? <laughs> I'm coming. Yeah, just hold on. <laughs> Go away. I'll be right there. Soup, super nature power. Super na I've located the target, beauty. Oh. I bet we're gonna see how the girl died, aren't we? How Camilla died. I wonder if we're gonna see see the one who saved her then. <gasps> Maybe. Girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Ah, that's how they mistook. They mis uh, mistook her, I guess. I guess. I mean, come on. Don't they have like a picture or something? Oh. Hmm, ha, hmm, 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 Oh dear, I must do something. I must use the power of my poofy hair. Oh gosh, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. God give me this hair for a reason and I can't, I can't let him down. Of course, my rock of the gods. Yeah! Holy shit. What? Whoa, what? <laughs> what the what in the world is that? That's what I just fucking said. Uh, oh, that's Minnow. <laughs> the one that's cr that's the one crushing my body into into tiny splinters. <laughs> Minnow. Minnow, the mascot, the symbol of Temzik Park, my rock god. <laughs> my rock god too, I mean. Forget about the fucking name of that big creepy lump of concrete. Tell me now. It's about the way that changed direction. You see that shit? Yeah, like, what? What the hell was that? That was, <laughs> that was awesome. There's someone like, this someone up. That's gotta be it. Oh, that's it, isn't it? The girl died from that, from the big thing landing on her. And someone manipulated the object. So I guess someone else has, uh, someone else has a power that's like mine, where they can manipulate inanimate objects or something. I guess, but I mean, how would you? 
I, I don't know. I think it's got to be a little different. I don't think I'm pretty sure I can't use like a big fucking block or something. I can I can nudge it, but I'm pretty sure if it's falling through the air, I'm not gonna be able to make it like zigzag. Like <laughs> he could have zigzagged it. I don't know, fucking away from the other guy. <laughs> Die, motherfucker! I hate hippies! Die! <laughs> oh dear, Minnow, why? Why? What have I done to anger you? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. We witnessed with our own eyes the power of the rock gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then that very power deliberately crushed you instead. Ah! Yes, pre pre yes precisely. That is called the mischief of the gods. <laughs> is it the mischief of the gods or was it a ghost trick? Nah, it couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something heavy in midair. But well, wait a minute. Well, there's somebody with, with somebody with much greater powers than me. Oh my God, I'm. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Who's it gonna? What's it, Who's it gonna be? What are they gonna look like? Hey, Camilla. Hey, how's it going? It's me. It's me, Sissel. Look at that. There's another flame beside me. Besides me. Oh. Oh, that's Lum, isn't it? Oh, so that is the flame of the god, is it? Be a hope, but hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so. Uh, pardon me, but are you a god? Oh my god! <laughs> Will you touch my rock god as well? No! Put it, stop pulling your pants down! I'm sincerely down it! Last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That's probably the flame that flame's doing. Could it be? Can I talk to them? I definitely believe it's either God or some, somebody, somebody God-related. <laughs> some godly, godly, god doodly doodly boodly. <laughs> Maybe I better try talking to this person. Yeah, can I do that? Uh, hi there. Hello. Oh God. Okay. I'm... Oh, what? What the? This person with much greater powers than me. It's. It's uh you. Hey. <laughs> yes. Sisha. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! It's Missile! He's got ghost powers! Sasha! Oh my god! Oh, and, oh, I get it. That's why Camilla was asking if I was, if I was, if it was Missile when I jumped, when I ran into her. Because it was Missile that saved her! <laughs> missile the dog! What the hell did you get ghost powers, you little goober? You little Pomeranian goober! Oh, my sweet mother of God. No fucking way. <laughs> you look well for being dead. Why are you dead again? How do you think about it? Did you see, did you see what I did? I did it. I tried really hard. I did it. I did Miss Camille. <laughs> are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? <laughs> you're no god. You're a fake god. <laughs> Die, infidel. Go hair power. Hair power. Oh, <laughs> hair power. Do, 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 do. And he transforms into like <laughs> Megatron. <laughs> Mister, what's going on? How'd you get the powers of dead, you little weirdo? I'm glad you asked. What did you do? Kill yourself right into the door like a million times? <laughs> After Miss Camille went out, you left. I pulled you into the door like 30,000 times and then I died. <laughs> Oh god, don't tell me that's what happened. What are you- I went like crazy in my boat bath and I did it! Did you really break the door down? Oh my goodness, look at you! Aren't you just a- Aren't you a crappy little bastard? Yeah, I've always come out and to make my world! <laughs> oh! Miss Camilla! I'm coming, Miss Camilla! I didn't hear I just bark and found her at last. Yes, you guessed it, I barked and I, you bet I did. And I'll be running after her too. What the? Oh no! What the hell? The little blue, blue guy killed you? What the hell?
Hey, I guess I died. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Dude, apparently that guy's name is Dandy, apparently, when you guys told me. It was Dandy and Beauty, the two uh, blue-looking gangster guys. But like, why the hell did you hit the dog? You could have just drove around it. <laughs> I think I might have hit something back there. <laughs> Appears to be blood underneath my wheels and my, my scooter. Oh, my God. <laughs> you fucking, fucking bastard. Oh, poor Bishop. Why? Hey, I was a guy for a little while. <laughs> oh dear. What I can't do is all over. Oh god. God, that would be horrible. It's just like and then like the yeah, like the death of that little girl Camilla would be like, oh Jesus. Oh god, and Dandy's just like flipping shit over there. Poor poor Miss Camilla! God <laughs> This is this is what happens to me. <laughs> this is why we don't let Miss Camilla live the leave the house! Actually, this is also why we don't let Lynn leave the house either. Gosh darn it, big scary lump! Oh, 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 what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. <laughs> I, I do think Nandy's not like a bad guy. Although I'm kind of pissed he ran over a missile, but. I mean, he's a gangster, I guess, but I don't know. He's sort of like a friendly gangster. <laughs> Miss Cabinet, no! Oh no. I had to rescue Miss Camilla, it was up to me. I cried from the depths of my heart. I did. I can't tell you how surprised it was, but I you understand, right? What the hell is that thing? Did you see that? It was like a. It was that thing in the bottom right corner? It's like a, it's a big glowy rock or something? Oh, that's gotta be it. This looks like a crater or something, right? Like a, what is it, like a meteorite hit or something? Is that what gave us ghost powers? This could be superpowers from the, like, rock or something. It's like a fucking superhero movie. But then how would, well, but then how did Sissel get it? That doesn't make any, but, but he did it. But I, I guess it would make sense for him because he's right next to it, but then how would Sissel get it? I mean, he wasn't next to the rock, so maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe this is where it came from and... I don't know. Maybe maybe when he was maybe when he was alive, he walked by it or something. Maybe just getting near it will. Maybe I, I don't know. Yeah, then probably nobody else could. <laughs> I mean, what you do for me? Now you save me. So went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death. You better you, you better your biscuits. I did. Oh oh, mine was green. <clears throat> Mine's green when I go backwards. Yes, my dear, I'm a sort of gently napper and come back right to your side. I'm getting this weird feeling of deja vu. <laughs> eh! Go away, you creep weirdo! How did that thing end up falling anyway? Did, oh, did he hit a lever or something? Not my chance! I thought I, I thought I saw the core! I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretch out my paw to the core. Oh, I felt it. Oh, I felt that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, just go and drop yourself. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Holy! Sh <laughs> I got a really big ghost penis. <laughs> Holy shit! You put my ghost penis to shame. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Missile gets all the ladies! He gets all the bitches! Hey, you see what I did there? You see what I did there, Sizzle? <laughs> we just connected already. Right. Alright, I'm sorry! Stop waving that thing around, showing off. I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? God damn, dude. You're a lot stronger than me, are you? <laughs> Why are you so much stronger than me? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it, Missile! Well, you don't call me Missile for nothing! <laughs> Oh, so then you manipulate that minnow thing and threw it aside? Right on top of my head, you fucking ba- You fucking bastard. Uh, I know, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. Uh, oh, what? You can't? How did you fucking do it? I didn't know what to do. It happened to Sissel. I got the core of my eye. I had a core of two. A single- Single leaf hanging from the tree. I 
Travis, you had to leave. What in the world? I can't believe you things, but apparently I could swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. Oh. That's right, because a... I, I didn't see like a leaf kind of fall down. Oh, what? <laughs> Look at that, it's so cool. Swap things with the same shape. Go ahead, try it, try it. Touch your swap button. Touch my swap button. I don't want to touch your swap. Do it, poke it. Poke it. I wish my ghost face in front of you. That's fucking awesome, that's incredible. So that's how you saved your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in, in this, is it? <laughs> Sorry to be squished, you hippie dude. I'm not a hippie dude. <laughs> yeah, you are. You smell like a hippie dude. Okay, fine. I'm a hippie dude. You're right. <laughs> My powers are too bigger. Bigger. Cause you see, I sell one more. I have to do one more core. But it was similar with the exact same shape stuck in a branch of a tree. Oh, very fortunate. <laughs> hey, you're right. Oh, is that like a football or something? If Minnow could be swapped again with that, then disaster wouldn't have ha happened have to rain down on my head. <laughs> you better swap that shit, you little bastard. What is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than Minnow. <laughs> my, although I do love my god so very much. <laughs> Minnow's like, what did you say, Minnow? <laughs> no, I shall smack snake, bro. No, Minnow, I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> so why didn't you swap the missile? I got it. I can stretch out my ball over you and you can you so... Not that far. But it was just too far for me, I couldn't reach it. Oh no. <laughs> this little dance. I'll save you, little girl. <laughs> I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of death, if I do say so myself. I can be trying over and over to see if there's anything I can do. Best thing you can do now. Huh? We work together, you and me. Just so you think so? Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! Wait a, wait a minute. I'm wondering... This is kind of bananas. Also, like, aren't I in the past right now? I'm in the past of the... So, like, I'm... Then I would jump into the past again with, like... Yeah, so... I'm like, is this, like, past dog or something? Wait, where did he go after he saved her? Did he just hang out there for a while? Just so you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course! I use my puppy power! Naturally. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Not you, you smelly hippie. <laughs> so we're gonna go drop that minnow thing in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. Let's go back to four minutes before. Oh, this is so cool. So we're gonna... I'm gonna have two... Uh, two ghost people controlling. Oh, this is so cool! Alright, let's get started. From now, you'll swap minnow with a leaf. And you'll have to swap minnow with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby, huh? But with the rugby ball, where where it is now, missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. Uh, it looks like you and I will have to work together on this one, missile. Okay, I'm ready. I'm so fucking ready. Whatever you want, you must swap it. Just touch the... Just touch the missile icon. That way you'll be able to control me, and then if we touch the scissor icon. Control will come back, come to me. By the way, you can, sit, you can switch between us with select two. Select two, I remember that, okay, cool. Okay, let's try, you can always jump in over here, buddy. Bam, little. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, Missile, your powers are the key this time. Okay, I'm ready. I can throw anything in the same shape. Just call me if you have anything you want to try. Probably best thing to do is just try a bunch of things and see how it goes. I can see, if I see something, I can swallow. Okay, yes. All right. I like how his, his little thing is like green looking. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Uh. Oh. Dumpster lit power. Go! I see. So, I mean, he's not exactly. He can stretch a lot further than me, but it's not like. It's, it's still different. It's not like he's stronger than me. Necessarily. So that's that's interesting. I like that. You know, I, we have different powers. Okay, I gotta get up to that football, right? Oh, would you look at that? 
Let's throw a lot of round things around here. Oh boy! That makes sense for me! Well, right? Oh boy! <laughs> My hair is also round. <laughs> That's true. Can we just switch out? <laughs> we switch out his hair for a fucking ball. Crush him with that. Let's see. He's most powers. I can just touch that guy. Okay. Uh, okay. Not really sure what exactly I'd be doing here. Okay, swap! Ha! Go, go, Bishop Power! And I can swap the ball with that one, probably, right? Okay, go, tire! Oh, here comes the crazy goober! <laughs> and here, woo, here you come already! I swore to myself not to repeat my mistakes. Mistakes? When somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, you will definitely regret it. And now, the ruxness of youth has taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. The power of the gods in my pants. I've been thinking, wait, why do you have your pants down anyway? <laughs> I'm showing you my rock god. Would you like to touch it? Stop! <laughs> I swear to god, if you don't put that thing away, I'm gonna hurt you. We can stop this man from running, baby. He wouldn't get squished. It won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth has been taken over. Hmm, stop it, eh? Okay, I think I can... Oh! I can, I can actually reach it. God, I can't get... He has so much... F oh, God, he's already on it. Oh, I get... Oh, I gotta wait for him to, to get on there. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Ah, I'm getting my controls mixed up here. Oh, okay. Okay, uh... Maybe if I spin this faster? <laughs> wow, I didn't see this coming. Don't you know the first thing about the globe, the globe climber? Huh? Even little children treat with respect it deserves. They know that unless you spin it gently, there's no stopping it. It does look pretty dangerous. Looks like I'm just destined to fly through the air like this for a while. Hmm. This might buy us some time. Maybe I'll just keep spinning around like the other for whole four minutes! I'm sorry, but I don't think I can withstand it for that long. Well, at least it stopped him from running for a while. Let's do what we can while we have this chance. Ah, okay. So I slowed him down a bit. I can't reach the ball either. Oh, I see. Now that I see what this is for. I did this earlier, and that's how I can reach the, the rugby ball. Woo! Whoop! Uh... It's the same shape as that horrible video, but it's too far and strong from here. Even as this ball is starting to look horrible to me. <laughs> we have to find a way to get this ball closer to that minnow thing. Knock it down from the tree, I say. There's something we can do. Oh, yeah, we're so close. We hit the ball. Could have, could have knocked down. Is that all this umbrella can be used for? For knocking the rugby ball down? Don't forget about my powers. Don't forget my rec recklessness of youth. <laughs> You're not helping. Shut up. Is there something I can match the shape with the umbrella? Here comes that man fast enough to scare him like a little dog like me. Oh, the rugby ball is still in the street. Ah, uh, behold, the recklessness of youth. Youth. Yeah, it's that recklessness of yours that's causing us so much fucking trouble. No one can stop the recklessness of youth. No one. No one. Ah. Well, if we can't stop it, then I guess we're going to have to find a way to make it work for us. But if it comes right too fast, we won't have time to get ready! Hmm. So like figuring out what to do with his recklessness is the key. Okay. Okay, um... Oh, there he goes. Oh, I kicked the tire over... Fuck, that's probably not what I was supposed to do. So, did you see it? Did you see it, Zizo? I guess the tire's too heavy to, to get much height. I wouldn't have been surprised if it launched me into the air. That tire does have quite a bit of weight to it. But no matter how it is, I can still swap it! So weight isn't a factor when it comes to swapping, eh? I'm thinking maybe when he jumps on this, I can get the basketball to land in the umbrella or something. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it did work! Okay, I'm not sure what that does, but it's something. Can I, now I close it, we'll shoot in the air? Will it? Almost be in the way. Oh, well, I guess we don't have to. Don't have to close it. Oh. Uh. But I, I can't. Oh no 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 no. But it's not quite the same shape as me to switch that. Oh, 
Oh, look. Oh, no, 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 no. I see. I'll switch it out with the tire or something really fucking heavy. That's it. Oh, boy. This is about to get... Yes, go! Yes! There we move the ball, what do you think, missile? Move the ball there! I did not do it! Yes! Just a few seconds, you'll swap Minnow with the leaf. And then from there, swap... You can swap Minnow one more time. The final moment is near missile, are you ready? You bet I am! All right, let's do this missile. All right, here we go. I'm Jamie, Mr. Bear. That is it. What the hell is that thing doing hanging there anyway? Eh. Oh, it's already moved. Okay. Okay, watch me do Here we go. Finishing touches. You can do it, missile. Swap minute with that ball. Uh, it, it already moved. I thought I was going to have to I had to move it again as well. Hot dog! What? Ah. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> There's it! My head has been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. And now Minnow's right where he belongs in the dumpster. We did it again, did we? Anyway! Oh, fuck it! Sweet! <laughs> now nobody has to die! Except for me, I guess! And the money did! Ah, oh, Bobby, dude! <laughs> Except for one brave little somebody! Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile! Oh, hey! I guess you're right, I'm still dead, aren't I? Bobby, dude! Let's go back and save your life! Uh, wait a minute! What is it? How do you think about it? I don't want to stay there a little longer. What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to check for Miss Camilla. Uh, also, if we went back and saved me with that clear like some kind of time paradox thing, you know, like, where all of a sudden we didn't save her here because I wasn't dead to, to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Does that work this way? I don't know. I don't know how time works in this game. It's an anime game, though, so like, anything can happen. <laughs> and to do that, I need his power game, now. I see. Perfectly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just save you. Don't you wish your don't wish your life away, you fucking fuck. Oh, of course you're right. I must save the world with the power of my hair. Behold the power of my hair. The powerful in the god. <laughs> oh god, no, no, no more. <laughs> okay, Miss Levy, your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless, you. There's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. We get back to the present time. Could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back to the present. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my God, Missile, so we make the best team ever. <laughs> He's still unconscious. So Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnapper. We weren't able to change that part. Then listen to my story without saying anything. Whatever, don't care. Sorry, I wish there was something else I could have done. Oh, you, you did the best you could. At least you saved some. At least you saved that smelly hippie there. I'm sure she's she's all right after all. After all, she is me. Missile, uh, missile, are you in there? Holy fuck! Are you a leaf now? My God. Miss Lee, <laughs> leave me scared out of me. I don't know. I don't know that much right now. I like how she knew it was the dog. Despite, like... <laughs> Do I know what my dog's voice sounds like? <laughs> nope, I saw his little portrait in the corner. That's how I knew it was him. But I'm sure I can help. Missile. Oh, Missile, my funny talking dog. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> help! Miss Lynn! No! <laughs> oh, God! Stupid wind! Ah! <laughs> no, Missile, no! I'm going to leave it up to you, to Missile. Okay, looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Damn it, Lynn, you suck! Miss Lynn! <laughs> Why can't you just hold on to me? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes you, Lynn. I know. I suck. 
Oh, behold. Oh! -ho! I shall dip dance to t tap dance towards you. I have something to give you. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park. The rock of the gods. Are you forgetting so your promise, you... Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. This is for you. Oh, okay. Just shut up. Thanks. I guess. Whatever. You got the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. <laughs> Not at all. I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. <laughs> the one that crushed me. What's the matter? Cag out your tongue? He's me mesmerized by my beauty. Yes, check out these boobs. <laughs> They're so pointy. Hey, the cat's not allowed, not allowed to get your tongue. What the? What is up with them? Excuse me, but are you? No, it couldn't be. No! <laughs> you must die! <laughs> What's happening? Have we met before? Aren't you? Aren't you that little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was ten years ago in this park. Ten years ago? Oh. <laughs> yes, I was around then. Even then. <laughs> I remember you! I knew I remember I recognize that smelly hippie smell! What are you talking about? Drip time! Talk to him first, I don't know. Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years from that day, we meet once again. If it if that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? Tell me, tell me why I can be him. Oh my god, if you start singing one more fucking time. It could just be coincidence, but apparently you know our late lady detective. Could you tell us about what about it? What happened ten years ago? Yes, yes, of course. I was actually just about to do that. The Rock of the Gods. Okay, aside from the one in your pants, what's this Rock of the Gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. I knew it. It was it was the big pine cone looking thing, right? <coughs> oh poor Oh poor Mitchell, he's still in there. Aw. Mitchell. I'm okay! <laughs> I'm just a ghost with superpowers! Wait a minute, you you say you say gods, but do you mean dogs? <laughs> Of course not. Don't be silly. This is no time for ridiculous word games. You are standing just above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Behold! The monument of the God! I swear to God, that's it. I'm punching you. Mon monument? Rock of the Gods. Tensic, Tensic Park. The Rock of the Gods? Oh, that's the Rock of the Gods. Oh! The Rock and... <laughs> the power of... It. The, the the rock that gives us superpowers. The rock is buried in the ground right here, right there. It's been there these ten years. Ever since that day, it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? What the hell's going on here? Say what? <laughs> so this rock you've been talking about is a meteorite? You idiot! That's space shit! It's not a god, it's a fucking rock! <laughs> Precisely. It dropped from the sky on the day ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. Of course. Of course. You know all about the crock of the gods. Is it right in the sand in my... <laughs> no, I don't. Me? Ten years ago. That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom. I heard the scream of a little girl. <laughs> me weirdo now just calm down drop drop that weapon let's stay back dude you coming any closer i'll shoot her dude <laughs> damn it Bailey. <laughs> you coming any closer i'll do my i'll do my panic dance <laughs> god that'd be really weird if it were, ended up being him i peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I'm not really sure who it is. I, I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The engine was so thick it was painful. Just when I couldn't stand it any longer, that's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish white. Holy shit! Oh, 
Boom! When I crashed in the ground, the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments. Pierced into the criminal's back. Oh! The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Oh! I bet that guy. The guy who got stabbed in the back there. That must be the real bad guy here, right? That's gotta be it. That's why he's like, maybe... I don't know why... I guess that's why he hates... Dad Jowd, maybe? <laughs> damn it, dude! I was gonna totally kill this girl here! Oh, damn. So that's... So that's probably why he has superpowers or something, right? Whoever the hell that's, this guy is. Judgment of the Gods was brought down in the park that day. Ten years ago, that little girl was... the. Was you was saved by the Rock of the Gods. Oh my, I can't believe it! The Rock of the Gods was given the name Tenzik, and still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. Sweet, <laughs> sweet superpowers giving. <laughs> I got hit by Kryptonite! <laughs> yes! Give me superpowers, Kryptonite! I never knew about this Tenzik. I always thought Detective Jow was the one who saved me. Oh, so he didn't shoot him? Does Detective Jow not realize that either then? You were very young then, and you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. Was, Jow was... Th I guess Jow thought he killed him then? Didn't, didn't he think he did? Isn't that why he was so upset? That's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you never heard of it, Len. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know about it, anything about it. The meteor meteorite was named Temzik, after the name of this park that it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening. They're turning they're talking about turning this park into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park and I'm trying to appeal to the people with the power power of my hair! The power of my red ball hair. It's capable of destroying the world with this gorgeousness and burly balaboo. Okay, yeah, I'm serious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, <laughs> I'm gonna use my ghost powers to fucking make you dead again. You don't shut up. Okay, sorry. <laughs> more, one more time. Protect the park, protect the rock and the gods. Ooh, ooh, this is my mission from the gods. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I see. Come on, Michelle. Hey, <laughs> little legs just floating up in the air. I'll take you with me, Missile. So, ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that, but take Jow on the other hand. There's no way he didn't know about this Timsic thing either, if he knew. And the man died, I took his life. Yeah, exactly. Like, what was, the conf what was that confessional of his all about? Yeah, that's what I don't... What? Was, this, was he confessing to something else, then? Rock of the Gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives. Like the ripples in a pond when the pe pebble is dropped in. For every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Will I? Or will I be stuck in this river? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we need to decide to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I wanted to ask to check your job. Like, what the fruit are you talking about? Hello there. Oh, sweet. My badass music box. With a badass pistol inside. We found the music box, Detective Chowd. Good job, Lynn. I know you would. Uh, actually, no, I, I was actually pretty sure you wouldn't. I was pretty sure you'd be dead by now. <laughs> well, actually, technically, I did die four times. Ah, I knew it. You suck. <laughs> Once everything had been resolved, I want I wanted you to get you wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Chowd. What? Hey, forgive you for what? Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain act of doing it, you know. <laughs> See? <laughs> you see all that knack? It's more like brute fucking strength. Behold, my Kirby power! <laughs> oh yeah, baby! Chad's got a motherfucking pistol. Holy shit. 
You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch scorch marks? When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's the kind of magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. But why would little Camilla use something like that? I, I don't know. Maybe because she's maybe it's because she's the detective's daughter, or she's also, or maybe she's secretly a pyromaniac. Who knows? <laughs> Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. Ha! <laughs> in our case, report. Suppose was a, uh, in in the case where there's a bunch of some scorch marks. When it happened, Camille was watching her from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun. Oh, wait. Who's talking now? I don't even know. Uh, I'm probably Jout, actually. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If, you're, if you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind it on the frame, too. Those marks should match up with those the ones on the gun. In other words... It proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. Then why would you hide it? I don't understand. Well, I guess he, he thought his daughter still did it or something, right? <laughs> wow, you probably were seriously off fucking trophy. This show's me beginning. I, would tell you, I, would, I, I wouldn't have fucking arrested your daughter. And, you, and it didn't work the way you, your little girl intended it. Is that, is that right? Exactly, it's some cowardly culprit modified, modified the design. That angle was never brought up in court. And so, it's just Mister. I must call off the execution at this point. Yeah, whoo, Mountain Dew. I knew I was right. Fuck yeah, bitches! <laughs> it was the detective job, now we can finally prove that! Hell yeah! Thank goodness. I did something, finally. Thank you, Lynn. Although, you really didn't do anything that was proved to so. <laughs> Damn right it was. And those eyes of yours, I see the eye, eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Trick time. Okay. Sissel, if you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I'd be gone by now without ever, kn ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Tonight, I've come to contact with a lot of people, a lot of wacky, insane people with weird hair. And got involved in their fates. And the only reason I was I was doing it was to get my lone lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just fucking know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions in order to find out the truth about this. Fair enough. Fire your way. Okay. Manipulator. Still told me about about Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yes, and it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister too. Ah! <laughs> 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 He's not big on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one that's just fucking save him. I'm tired of saving his ass. Oh, oh. Cecil, do you think? Do you think that's what happened to me too? Hmm. Hmm. When, what are you talking about, Lynn? When he shot her, she said, "Don't tell me. You were manipulated too." Yes, that's totally it. So it was a part of me that just couldn't believe it. The image of the one who shot me. Uh, what? The image of the one who. Uh, uh, the image of the one who shot me, but now I see the new, a new, a, the possibility of a new explanation. Dude, who the hell is this guy gonna look like? I'm like, like, oh god, it's gonna look freaking crazy, probably. But who is it, and why did they do that? Do it. That was contraption. That, con that contraption was a birthday surprise for Camilla's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that fucking machine. Right, I knew it! See, Detective Jowd! I'm so good at Siggy solving, all I have to do is die when I get. die to get to the play the person's house, and then. Sizzle saves me, and. Lou, Lou, Lou! No, my friend, I don't see. <laughs> told, Detective, told Detective Jowd about it. He still haven't figured out why it's in his this guy's basement. It's all about the seeing the exact same contraption tonight at a completely different place. That's very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town. I've never even heard of the place. Once more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't? And that old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Ooh. What if he's the evil mastermind or something? <laughs> That's right. I use the powder of my pigeon. Oh, hell, now I think about it. Who the hell's the, the uh, old bushy eyebrow guy who uh, uh, asked or 
ordered Lynn's death, you know? It's like, hmm. Still so many other answer questions. Dave Jow, you must have heard this name before, Temzik. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago, you were there. So you found so you found out about that, did you? I heard that meteorite saved little Lynn's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lynn that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal away somebody's life, you fucking liar? What are you talking about? Take a job. You told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the, the park was you. What? But it was a meteorite! I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away, no question about it. It was entirely my fault. What? How? I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instance if the meteor meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. Oh, pfft. You are so full of shit. Will you fucking suck it up, you little bitch? God damn. I would have totally murdered That's not fucking true! Come on! Come on! <laughs> You're trying to save me! Lynn, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? Whoop! Truth about ten years ago. On that day ten years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes, in the police headquarters interrogation room. The worst sort of incident, a suspect was being questioned who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. I happened to be be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Ah, uh, okay, so this guy. Hold it right there. I fired a warning shot. I want I wanted to Whoops, uh, I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him bad. That warning shot made him panic. <laughs> Don't shoot me, dude! <laughs> Damn it, Bailey! Stop acting like a crazy psycho. <laughs> I heard he ran away and became a security guard. <laughs> and he does this really he did this really weird dance, I remember. And I was like, God damn it, I really want to shoot this guy, so I shot the fuck out of him. <laughs> At the time, I was young and green, detective, branching my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lynn. It was all my fault. Dude, come on, man. Give yourself a fucking break. You are just a god God dang it, Paul Bunyan. Just get over it. Detective Jowd! All I guess he was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. Ah, whatever. Nobody likes Lynn anyway. So the man who grabbed me that died that day. These last ten years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was, it was fate, my punishment for what I'd done. He'd never forgotten his face, so... What does he look like? Fucking tell us, you... Wait. I... Wait, what? I painted pictures of my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I met in my life and I didn't want to forget. And tonight, oh my god. I finished my last portrait, the final face I want to remember. What the fuck? What? What? The final face. This doesn't. What? This doesn't make sense. How is this possible? The face of the man in the park that day. Wait just a fucking minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw the face you painted tonight. It was my face! Are you telling me I was the man in the park that night, that time? That's right. The face, the fa that face of yours is the face I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. But hold on, Detective Chow! What? Okay, now I, I have no- What? What? This doesn't make sense. How the hell is that possible? This I was pretty sure that this guy was the bad guy, right? Probably, maybe, maybe not. But, but then who's the other guy? Who's the 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 bad guy with the superpowers? Who's been? I was. If it wasn't him, then who was it? You know, who's who's been going around and uh, controlling people? It wasn't me, unless I have unknown superpowers or I've got like an alter ego that I don't know about. When the full moon comes, I turn into evil Sissel. That can't be true. I just missed this tonight for the first time. 
and he died right in front of me. By the way, the name I, I that I know the na man in the park. Uh, uh, by the way, the name that I know the man in the park that day by isn't Sissel. Uh, what? Do I have a twin brother or something? What? From the first minute I've laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? I. I what the hell? <laughs> uh, Mr. Minister, baby. Inspector Carbonell, where are you? Just be quiet. Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. What? Oh shit! Is he somebody there? D demand. Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we confirm it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. Wait, wait. Is he part of it, or is he being? Is he part of it? What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? You know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. It doesn't really matter who the hostage is. A life, a life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. What? Is he a bad guy? Is it him this time? I do. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry the execution immediately and call for wait for our call. The, what? What is it, Mr. Weston? You look you look paler than ever. What in the fucking fruity pebbles is going on here? What? <laughs> Inspector Cabanella? Why? Are you evil? I don't know he's dead. I thought that he was being... There was somebody in there probably, like, telling him to say this. And I was like, uh, well, maybe he is evil. I don't know. I don't... I don't think he is, honestly, because it just wouldn't make sense. You could have fucking killed Jowd earlier if you wanted to, right? I mean, said, you know, pulled a knife on him and killed him. I, it just doesn't make sense. The rock guy guys that fell from the sky 10 years ago twisted the face of many people and started a chain of tra tragic events. Even now, the chain continues to grow even longer. Inspector Cabano's call proved that to us. And the grace mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? I'm even further from knowing that when I started. What the hell? Ah, uh, ah, uh, what the hell? Ah, uh, so much mindfuck this episode. <laughs> Seriously, it was so much mindfuck. I was like, ah, uh, what the hell? I fucking thought I had this shit figured out. I was like, it's like I got this, no problem. Now I've got down. But now I don't fucking understand. Like. Are there like two sizzles in? Like, I don't understand what's happening. Am I, am I somebody else? Is that it? I mean, but then who would I be? I mean, like, I, I, I don't know. It, like I'm, I don't, I, I, I mean, I mean, it was like another dead body behind the trashes I didn't see or something, you know? So I'm that thing or whatever. I don't know. Fuck. I, <laughs> this is so confusing. Oh, God. I hope it gets explained. This is... This shit's getting fucking crazy, though. I'm like... I'm still... I'm, like, I'm excited, though. You know what I mean? Like, I'm confused. But I'm excited. Like, I really can't wait to see what happens next. Um, But for now, we're gonna have to wait. Uh, Until next time. Anyway, like very if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now and hop aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys. Stay classy.